Hi everybody, it's Kristen and I have a total rehaul for you. If you are new to my total rehauls, it's just where I go back to a haul that I've done a few months ago now. I used to do them longer in between, but you guys have told me you prefer them to be a little bit closer to when I do the actual haul. And I see what products I purchased, pull them out, talk about them, and that's sort of Well, this haul was a haul right after I had come back from going to New York City for IMATS and to see some friends and do some shopping and that sort of thing. So that's, those are the products we're gonna talk about and I'm going to split this into two because that was an epic haul. There was lots of stuff in that haul. Before that, however, I want to report back to you on um, one of the one of the two items you guys really wanted to hear some feedback on. So I hauled not too long ago the Marc Jacobs Air Blush brushes and I or airbrush blushes, whatever. And I really liked those. I talked about those in my favorites of last month. If you haven't seen that, I'll stick it in a card here or list it below or something like that. And I ended up really, really liking those blushes. Um, the other one that you guys wanted to hear back on was the Becca split pans and I, I'm really sorry I just don't I don't like these. I feel terrible. I, I feel like um, sorry my piece of paper fell over. <laughs> they the highlight is fine. So let me say that the highlight part of it is fine but I had the same issue with the blush and I will show you the two that I have. I have um, Pamplemousse and Hyacinth. So it's Hyacinth and this is Pamplemousse, Mouse, whatever. Pamplemousse. And I really like the highlighters. Those blend really well, but I had the same issue with the blushes as I did in the in her face palette. They don't blend. I can't get them to really blend well on my skin, and they don't last, for me anyway. So I'm really disappointed in that. I promised that I would bring that back to you guys. I love me some Becca products, and I love me some Jaclyn Hill, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, those were just a disappointment. So I, I had promised that I would do that and I wanted to do that for you guys right off the bat. All right, so back to that haul. The first thing that I showed in that haul was this, which is uh, the HSN mirror. I don't know what it's actually called. I will have it below for you, of course. So this opens up like this and then like this. And then up here is the uh, magnified mirror and then here's the regular mirror. And it has a little button here you push and it lights up. So I do really like this mirror. However, I found in traveling, it is heavy. I can't, I think I said something in the hall. I mean, you could, this could be a weapon. So I don't appreciate that very much, but um, I, I do like the mirror. I really wish that they were switched around, that the magnified mirror was on the bottom. I can't get this open. I never should have shut it. That the magnified mirror was on the bottom and the, the light up mirror, the regular mirror was on the top, but I make it work. And what I do with this, in case you're curious, because this goes with me when I travel, is I will just take the ice bucket in the room, flip it over, put it on top of that, and then that gives me the height that I need. So anyway, I like it. I just find it to be very, very, very heavy. All right, the next thing on there was a quad that I had purchased, and this was the Gior or is the Giorgio Armani number no. twelve in Fatal or Fatal, take your pick. And I really, I like these. I, I love the, I love the original one that I got. I think which was number two. I love this as well. This is just a gorgeous shade. Uh, these, the the formula I find to be between the two that I have to be relatively consistent. For some reason, I I feel like. The mattes, um, those are the shades. The mattes in the number two quad are a little bit more, um, they blend a little bit easier, but then this is a purple, the matte in here is purple. Purple has blue in it, and that, that can be a little bit tricky to blend, so let me get that off my hand. So I do like that. I think it's a very, very pretty. I wore it quite a few times in the spring. I haven't worn it as much in the summer now, but because of the purples, I wore it a lot in the spring. All right, the next was the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Kit. And I haven't worn this. While I'm talking about this, I'm going to insert some footage of each of the, the different shades on my lips. The first one is um, the Tarte Lip Paint in Namaste. And I do really like that. I, I find it to be just a little bit shockingly nude for me. I don't generally go quite that nude with my lips. But I do like it. I like these lip paints. I have um, TBT. I have FOMO, which you guys just saw in my favorites. And I also have then this Namaste. And I feel like they, they stay pretty well. Interestingly enough, the one that stays the longest is this Namaste. But they all stay really well. And the FOMO, I actually feel like when it wears off, it leaves a nice kind of pretty little stain. It doesn't, they don't wear off in a patchy way. So I really like them. They're not like a liquid lipstick in the fact that they don't transfer. But they're a nice product. This particular kit, by the way, I looked this morning, is no longer available. But each of these products individually are available to my knowledge. 
And the next one was the the Nude Sticks Lip Pencil and Whisper. I've talked about this before. I really like this. The, what you're seeing me use on there or hold up is the dual ended one that has Whisper on one end and it actually has Mystic on the other. I like Mystic a little bit better. It has a little bit more color to it. Um, but Whisper is a very pretty nude. Again, I just feel like it's a little bit too nude for me. But um, so this pencil actually... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway with that. So here's a little mystery giveaway in the middle. The way I will know you are interested in it is if you um, list for me your favorite nude lipstick. Or if you've never tried a nude, you could list that as well. Um, and I will pick a winner one week from today and get in touch with you via email. And if you live someplace hot, I will give you the option of waiting for me to send this to you until it's not hot. Totally your option. But anyway, um, I love the nude sticks. I feel like they wear very well. They're not too moisturizing. They're not too drying. They're just a nice, really middle of the road um, as far as not too drying, not too moisturizing. I, I really, really like them. I've said that before. I have a couple of shades in them now and I, I love them. The next color I put on was the Laura Mercier in Milky Way. I didn't like this color on me at all. I just felt like it was a, I don't know, there's a little bit something, there's a little bit sort of gray to it or something is, is how it looked on me. I liked how it felt on my lips, but I didn't wear it long enough to know how it wears or that sort of thing. And I will say this, when you, when I open this up, it comes apart. I have to like do this and stick it back in this way. I'm not super impressed with that. Uh, it is just a little sample size, but so this one, this particular shade was not a winner for me. I did, however, really like the shade and it's just a plain old NARS lipstick. It's not one from their um, Audacious line. And this is in Dolce Vita and tons of people have talked about this before. This is literally my lips, but glossy. Instead of my lips better, we'll go my lips, but glossy. Uh, it, it really is, is very, very nice. It's a good go-to, throw in your purse, that sort of thing. This one will live in my purse when it's a little bit cooler outside. I know you think, Kristen, you live in Wisconsin. It can't be that hot here, but it has been brutal this year, let me just tell you. All right, so the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, the one I had showed in that haul was the wrong shade. I did exchange that out, and I, have, I noticed for August I had this written down to talk about in my favorites because I do really like this. I've been using it ever since. I don't know why I haven't talked about it yet. But so the one that I have looks like this and it is in shade shade fair medium. And I think originally they had pulled the wrong one for me. This is just the prettiest sort of um, contour. You could bronze a little bit with it, I suppose, but I've used this for contour. I've actually used it to contour my nose a little bit. Not today, but I have used it to contour my nose. The brushes that I use with this actually is the one that I use for setting my under eyes too. It's the, the cool blush brush. And I'll just go in there with a little tip. I didn't put it on today so I could show you guys a little bit. And I just give myself a little bit of, a little bit of something, and hopefully you guys can see there. It's very. Um, I need to do a get ready with me. I owe you guys a couple of those, and I will. You know, I'll use this in, in that again too. But it's very subtle, but it does add a little definition and a little contour. And then the highlight is just stunning. Today I have Tom Ford Frantic Pink on, so it already has a little sheen to it. But just absolutely stunning. I, I really like that. I think it's worth the money. It lasts a long time on your skin, and there's a ton of product in there, so I think it'll last a long time that way as well. All right. Um, oh, you know what? I skipped over a couple things. My apologies. We'll go back up to the top there. Um, Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle. Mm, I love this. I, you can, I've used a ton of this. I like this by itself. I like to mix it with um, some kind of deeper scents to give more of a summer but deeper sexy sort of fragrance. This is me we're talking about, but you know what I mean. Uh, I love this. Really, really like it. Happy with the purchase. Could not be happier. The Aaron, the two Aaron fragrances that I have is the Lilac Path and then this one. And I just think they're such good kind of pure scents. Um, it's just a really solid honeysuckle. And the other one's a really solid lilac. I, I, I really like them. One other thing that I skipped over here was the Estee Lauder Renew Treef Ultra Radiance Makeup. I returned that. That was the one in the pump. I got the one in the in the jar. I returned that. Those just did not work. There's something about the Renew Tree Fly skincare and that that foundation that just does not work with my skin. So we're <laughs> we're done trying. Back to Charlotte Tilbury. Til Charlotte Tilbury. The color communion color communion. <laughs> the color chameleon in bronze garnet. This is for green eyes. I really like this. It's very, very pretty. It lasts a long time smudges. I don't know that this shade is super unique that you need to buy and pay the Charlotte Tilbury price, 
But I do like it, and I'm happy with the purchase, and it is, as you can see, obviously, <laughs> still in my collection. One thing that I am not happy with, and uh, I should have returned this. I, I don't know. I, I may still. We'll see. But this is the Le Maitier Debuté, and it is called the Indelible Eye Prism, and this is in Angora. So it looks like this. And I thought maybe it would be like the Giorgio Armani Eye Tints, but I'll show you here. At least this particular shade, so I'm not saying it's all bad. So it just, when you blend it out, and it's gone. There's just not a lot of pigment to it. So, I mean, you get a little kind of glitter, but th this for me was a, was a full-on fail. I'm really disappointed in that product. I don't know if another shade would have been better or not, but, I mean, even the lighter shade should have some pigment to it, but it full-on disappeared. This is one of the products that I got that I absolutely love. This was a suggestion from my friend David, and um, this is the Estee Lauder, so it looks it's one of these ones, and it's the Rouge Pure Couture in the Mattes 208 Fuchsia Fetiche. And if you can find this, I will try to find links for you because it's tricky to find. It is so pretty. Particularly with blue eyes, this just makes my eyes jump out of my face. So pretty. Wears really well. Super comfortable. Absolutely love this. It was a great, great purchase. I'm, I'm really excited about that. I don't know what. Maybe it was in favorites. I wonder if it was in my May favorites. I barely had that on there for two seconds and it stained. So that's the other nice thing when it wears off. It is just a nice kind of pretty pink stain on my hand. All right, so now I had some products that um, David had given to me as well as Seth. I met Seth from um, Sethkin7. I, I will link him below. I'll link David's information below as well in case you are not familiar with He's a makeup artist in New York City at the S.A. Lauder counter at Bergdorf. And he brought me some goodies to try. One of them is this Bobbi Brown Nude Finish Illuminating Powder. So it looks like this. And you wouldn't think that it does anything spectacular, but it really does kind of, I've used it just kind of all over. It's not something that's going to be like um, in your face highlight. I actually don't even think you'll see it if I put it on my skin. But it does just give a nice sort of finish. It kind of reminds me of the Hourglass Ambient Powder. So that is a really pretty, really pretty just kind of finishing powder. Not sure what that was. All right. Uh, also, a product that he got me that he gave me that I haven't used yet because I, I just haven't gotten to it in my rotation is the Bobbi Brown Eye Opening Mascara. So I have nothing to report on that, but and I he will. He also gave me three little kind of trial size of the masks, which I haven't used. I just re did a rehaul on some other ones that I um, from the, them that I haven't used. So I need to get to using those. So funny. I'm more often to throw on a sheet mask versus one of those masks, but I really want to try those and use those. So I will do that. And I may, if you guys are interested, I may do a video. I'm talking about each mask like right after I've used it or something like that. I don't know. I'll show you my skin. We we shall see. And the last thing was about brown lipstick, which I love. I've had this in my favorites, and this is, it's nothing spectacular, but I just love it. It's an easy throw on. It's such a pretty pink, and it's Bobbi Brown Almost Pink. Looks like that. So it's in one of these sort of skinnier little tube things, but oh, so pretty. Just, it's like a pinky nude that has just a little more pink to it than you would normally expect in a nude and that I was wearing it over a bunch of different liners like kind of your your nude liners or even a brown like more like whirl I've worn it over a bunch of different things it's just a really good lipstick on its own or good to combo with other things so very very pleased with that and a couple of things that Seth had given me um, one of them I've tried a lot which is this one and two of them I haven't so the first one was the Giorgio Armani eye tint in number three I am a wuss I have not tried this yet he's not gonna be impressed with me at all um, and I, you guys know I love the eye tints there are some of the shades that I love and wear on a regular basis I'm just gonna try to give you a full shot of this and then I'll, I'll do one where it's blended out a little bit so that's kind of a double and that's like a single swatch I just haven't been brave enough um, I want to be brave enough I just smudged that a little bit I want to be brave enough I just haven't been brave enough yet <laughs> I will at some point I promise uh, and then this the Giorgio Armani ecstasy lacquer in number 505 this is so pretty you guys I, I, I love the lip maestros and I love this as well it's pretty and shiny and doesn't bleed on me it looks like this and this packaging is just stunning it's got kind of that you know it's not quite ombre but sort of ombre from the black into the red so 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 pretty 
And the last thing that I want to talk about today, and then we'll do the rest in another. Oh, by the way, that one stains as well, which is nice because you can wear it on its own. And the last thing I want to talk about is the Giorgio Armani Maestro UV Skin Defense Primer with SPF 50. So this is actually one that I will try here in a little bit. I just finished. I think it's gone. I think maybe there might be one more day in there. The primer I've been using up, which is the, the Chanel Le Blanc. Yeah, LeBlanc de Chanel primer. So I've not used this just because I was focused on that, but this, I will, I promise, I will get back to you guys on that one. And this, let me just show you, is a sort of a, not sort of, an actual rubber stopper. And so it's one of these more liquidy primers, like that. So let me just see how it feels. It doesn't feel silicone-y, which is good, because I don't love that. It smells like sunscreen. All right, I just blend, I, I just spent some time blending this into my skin and it's, my skin is really soft. Okay, now I'm really excited to try that. Really, really soft where I put that and it somehow filled in my pores as thin as it is. So can you, it's on this side of the, of the pink mark there, but not on that side. Not sure if you'll be able to tell, but wow, I'm really impressed with that. And I just started using the Becca Backlit. I had used that for like a week or so before I did the Sephora Playbox update so I could make sure that, you know, what I felt about it. And I was thinking I was going to go back to that, but whew, I'm going to have to try this now. All right, my friends, and that is all for this rehaul. Um, I will do the other half of this here shortly within the next couple of weeks or so, something like that. And I think that that's everything. So on my face today, I have actually just the very last little bit of the MAC Mineralized. I didn't mix anything with it. I just had the MAC Mineralized and then the Smashbox powder over the top of that. On my eyes, I have the Too Faced Natural at Night palette. And all I did was take Moonstone right here, which is why there's glitter all over my face. I do love this, but man, the glitter kind of drives me crazy. Uh, and then just a little bit of Cocoa Star on the outer corner. Pulled in a little bit of MAC Wedge in the crease. And I, for blush, I have Tom Ford Frantic Pink. And then on my lips today, I have NARS New Lover. That's what I put back on after all my lip swatches. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day. If you have any questions, list them below. Again, if you want to enter the giveaway for the Whisper lipstick, um, list below for me your favorite nude or if you've never tried a nude. And I think that's it. So, all right. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.